New photos from NASA show a view of Jupiter hardly visible from Earth. The pictures shown the planet's southern aurora because of Jupiter's unique orbit. This is the first time experts have seen the southern point in such detail. NASA's Juno spacecraft took the photos to study how the sun and other sources influences auroras. Now here in East Central Illinois, if you're going to go stargazing tonight, you are going to have a beautiful evening to do so. You can see SkyTrack radar showing just a couple clouds. They've been devel developing over the past few hours. Now these rain showers, they're really scattered for the most part. These are going to be dissipating as we head overnight tonight, so you really don't need to worry about them at all. Outside right now, it's about 87 degrees here in Charleston, 88 up in Champaign. Now what this blue number is, that's what it actually feels like. 96, 88 when it actually feels like 96 degrees. The earlier, these were almost to 100 degrees. Actually, down around Effingham, they actually saw 100 degrees, and that's going to be the case over the next couple days. We're going to see those heat indices top those triple digit points. But overnight tonight, we are going to cool down 72 degrees for overnight tonight. Partly cloudy skies will continue. We will see a nice light breeze out of the south, keeping us nice and warm over the next couple days. Now, as we look ahead for your Wednesday, it's going to be pretty similar to what we saw today. A couple clouds starting to develop over the uh, over the morning hours. Then as we head into the afternoon, we're going to continue to see those nice clear skies. Again, it's going to be nice and warm out there. But as we move into the late evening hours, you can see that rain up by Peoria starting to push its way onto the northern part of the viewing area. Now that rain, it's going to probably fall apart, but for your Wednesday, 90 degrees for your high. So again, you're going to want, want to watch those heat indices. It's going to feel a lot hotter than it actually is out there. So you're going to want to bring, bring those pets in, make sure their water bowls are full because it is going to be very hot these next couple days. For your Thursday though, there you see that rain starting to push in. The problem is that rain really isn't going to develop much after that. It's going to start to dissipate as we head into the early morning hours on Thursday. And then for your Thursday afternoon, and that's when we're just looking to see a couple more scattered rain showers, mostly clouds. So, so it's going to be a nice Thursday. But again, we do see the chance of rain. 90 degrees for your Wednesday, partly cloudy skies. Again, pretty similar for your Thursday. I'm not really expecting that rain to come because we, we have a high pressure system off to the south and that's going to hold that rain off. I think it's going to hold off even later than Thursday. 86 though, so we do see a little bit of relief from the heat. And then as we head into your Friday, that's when I'm really starting to think we're going to see that rain about 88 degrees isolated thunderstorms for you as you start your weekend. So for the rest of your work week though, 88 degrees for your Friday will drop back down to about 80 degrees for your Saturday. That's when I'm expecting a cold front to push through, and that's when I'm really starting to expect that rain to really push in. And then as we head into the rest of your weekend, 79 degrees for your Sunday. And then look at that as you head back to work, 76 for your Monday, 81 for your Tuesday, though. So we will continue to see the 80s for the most part over the next couple days. Again, we will be seeing very hot heat indices over the next couple days. Again, we will be probably topping out at the triple digit marks for those, but overall about 90 degrees for your high tomorrow.